In this video, we'll talk about the solubility of oxygen, O2, in water. So you can imagine that there's oxygen dissolving in water. That's how fish breathe, other aquatic creatures. The oxygen dissolves in water. They can take it out with gills or otherwise and use the oxygen for respiration. There's a few ways the oxygen would get in the water. One, you've seen aquariums with people bubbling air through. That works. You could have a stream, perhaps a waterfall, or the oxygen could just diffuse in the water. And that's what this would look like. So imagine the red, the O2, this is our oxygen. The blue, that's nitrogen. Air is mostly nitrogen. It's about 21% oxygen. So let's make it so we can see this oxygen here. And we know that these molecules are always vibrating and moving around. So you can imagine that this oxygen molecule is vibrating and moving around. And eventually, it just works its way into the water. That's dissolved oxygen. Conversely, some of it could work its way out, setting up sort of equilibrium. But oxygen does dissolve in water. Let's look at a simulation of this to see what that looks like. So let's add a few oxygen molecules. Let's just put three. O2, the red, that's oxygen, and then a bunch of water. So molecules are always moving. So let's do that, get things moving here. And we can see that the oxygen sort of stays on the outside, but it does dissolve in the water. As we increase the temperature, the water molecules, you see the green lines between the water molecules, water's polar molecule. So it's going to be attracted to itself more than the oxygen molecules would be. As we increase the temperature, you can see that those oxygen molecules, they're getting pushed out. They're no longer in the water. So as we increase the temperature, we'll force the oxygen out. So when we have a higher temperature, we have less oxygen dissolved in the water. Let's look at a graph of that. So here's our graph. We have temperature along the bottom and solubility, how many milligrams of oxygen dissolved per 100 grams of water. And you can see as the temperature increases, the solubility of the oxygen decreases, just like we saw in the model that we looked at. So to recap, oxygen is soluble in water, although it depends on the temperature of the water. As the temperature increases, the solubility of the oxygen, that decreases. This is the opposite of what we see for most ionic compounds. This is Dr. B with the solubility of oxygen in water. Thanks for watching.